Hello, everyone. Uh, I found one aspect of this paper very interesting and I wanted to talk about the, it uh, a little more in detail. Um, so this is the paper and it is very well explained there. So you might want to check that out rather than here to my explanation. But I'm going to try to do my best. So uh, I'm going to cover a very small aspect of the paper and uh, the aspect here is that in the paper they are trying to judge if convolutional networks are similar to how humans recognize objects. They are trying to understand if they internally work in similar ways. And this is the key idea that they use to judge if they are similar or not. They say that if two visual systems are equivalent, then they should produce statistically indistinguishable signatures with respect to these metrics, which makes sense because if two systems are working internally the same their responses as black boxes to specific metrics has to be the same and they, they do this comparative analysis between humans and convolutional networks and i'm going to show you those results so this is on the first task these results so uh, this is a one versus all classification task so if you have one camel here, you're going to uh, distinguish camel from everything else. So they make humans do the one versus all task. They make CNNs do the one versus all task and they compare the accuracies and see if they're similar. So uh, on this plot, blue represents high accuracy and red represents low accuracy and all other colors span the space in between. So as you can see, uh, this is the accuracy for humans. This is for monkeys and all these are for various types of skins. They have AlexNet, VGG, GoogleNet, ResNet, Inception and so on. So as you can see, this is where monkeys are getting confused and CNNs are also getting confused at the same place. So what this shows is that on, on this specific metric, both human visual system or monkeys visual system and CNNs face the same problem. And if you see this plot, it shows the accuracy of humans and the accuracy of various architectures and they're again quite similar. And this is a slight variation of the about task. This is a one versus two, uh, one versus one task. So each point on this matrix represents one class versus another class. So uh, again, uh, the color code remains the same and the performance of humans looks like this and performance of monkeys looks like this. And these are performances of various CNNs. And if you see again, you have again a similar problem. You have this area hard for humans and that is the same thing which is happening in in the convolutional networks also. This area seems easier and that seems to be there for convolutional networks also. So they seem to give similar characteristics until here. And again, we need to remember that this is a very basic test. In case uh, they are similar on these tests and a few other tests, we cannot say anything about uh, we cannot say that they are internally the same so what i'm trying to say is here is that the vice versa doesn't work if two visual systems produce statistically indistinguishable metrics that doesn't mean that they're equivalent they could be very different architectures but still perform well on specific metrics so until now, we were not able to distinguish between CNNs and uh, humans or other primates. And this is the interesting part where CNNs fail, but humans and primates still continue to classify well. And this is the core. So what you're doing is you're taking lots of images and then you're subtracting these images uh with the mean of that object class and then the resulting images are given to humans monkeys and then cnns but once you look at uh, these results 
it is quite surprising that uh, CNNs perform much worse than humans. So this shows that uh, they are not internally the same because they get because CNNs get confused where humans do not. We can see that the underlying principle of classification of objects is not the same. Uh, and subtracting mean from the object is not a crazy thing to do. It is a very reasonable thing to do because uh, you're just ensuring that the prediction of the model is not hostage to the mean of that class. Maybe it's just looking at the mean and trying to predict which class that is, which is a bad thing. So once you just remove this bias, this background bias in your image, uh, CNNs are CNNs, CNNs start to fail. So this shows that CNNs previously they were able to get higher performance because they were incorporating this information about the overall mean of the image and that is not a good feature for object detection. So CNNs are learning features that they shouldn't be. And in that sense, uh, CNNs uh, are not performing as well as human on this specific metric. So they make small changes to the network and they see that this problem is not fixed. So they conclude that there's some kind of change needs to be done if we want the accuracy of CNNs to be more human-like. That's all. I, I just found this idea quite interesting and I wanted to share with you. And yeah, this key idea was quite interesting. Cool. Have a nice day.